Sunday, December 31st, 2023, afternoon edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, the AI-generated News Digest daily Intel I report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Cat video highlights big year for space lasers. Dietitians recommend high-protein breakfast for weight loss. Oversized ancient galaxy surprises astronomers. Tom Wilkinson, the full Monty actor, dies at 75. Sodium's transformation reveals secrets of stars, planets. Israel-Hamas conflict updates. Gaza death toll rises. I went home with a hinge date and much more. But first, this day in history. December 31st in history. December 31st, 535. Byzantine General Belisarius completes the conquest of Sicily defeating the Gothic garrison of Palermo, also known as Panormos, and ending his consulship for the year. December 31st, 1501. The First Battle of Cananor commences, seeing the first use of the naval line of battle. December 31st, 1906. Mozaffar Adin Shah Qajar signs the Persian Constitution of 1906. Today's obituaries. Luis Blanco Vila, 87, Spanish journalist. Shmulik Bilu, brief Wikipedia summary. Shmulik Bilu, a 71-year-old Israeli musician, has passed away. He was a member of the vocal group Milk and Honey, which won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1979 with their song Hallelujah. Bilu's cause of death was not mentioned in the article. Shecky Green, brief Wikipedia summary. Shecky Green, a 97-year-old American comedian and actor known for his performances in films such as History of the World Part One and Splash, has passed away. Green was a popular comedian in Las Vegas during the 1950s and 60s and appeared on various television shows throughout his career. He was widely respected by his peers and had a successful career in the entertainment industry. Melissa Hoskins, brief Wikipedia summary. Melissa Hoskins, a former Australian Olympic cyclist, died at the age of 32 after being involved in a traffic collision. She was struck by a vehicle allegedly driven by her husband, cyclist Rohan Dennis. Hoskins was known for her success in both track and road racing events. Eddie Bernice Johnson. Brief Wikipedia summary. Eddie Bernice Johnson, a prominent American politician, has passed away at the age of 88. Johnson served as a member of the US House of Representatives from 1993 to 2023, representing Texas's 30th Congressional District. She was a member of the Democratic Party and was known for being the first registered nurse elected to Congress. Johnson also served in the Texas Senate from 1987 to 1993. J. Rock Lee. Brief Wikipedia summary. J. Rock Lee, an 80-year-old South Korean Christian pastor and founder of the Manmin Central Church, has died. Lee was convicted in 2018 for multiple cases of sexual assault and rape against members of his church and was sentenced to 15 years in prison. His ministry was controversial, and he has been called a cult leader. Ana Ophelia Murguia was a Mexican actress known for her notable performances in films like The Queen of the Night and Nobody Will Speak of Us When We're Dead. She was also recognised for lending her voice to the character of Mama Coco in the animated film Coco. Sadly, Murguia passed away at the age of 90. Notably, she holds the record for the most nominations for the Ariel Award for Best Actress without a win, while also securing three wins for Best Supporting Actress. O.S. Thayagarajan was an Indian Carnatic musician, 
who recently passed away at the age of 76 due to a cardiac arrest. He was widely recognised for his musical talents and had performed in numerous concerts, earning him a reputation as one of the prominent musicians of his time. However, in 2018, Theagarajan became embroiled in controversy when he faced allegations of molestation and sexual harassment as part of India's Hash Me Too movement. Kale Yarbrough, brief Wikipedia summary. Kale Yarbrough, an American racing driver and founder of Kale Yarbrough Motorsports, has passed away at the age of 84. Yarbrough was a Hall of Fame driver who won three consecutive championships in NASCAR history and was known for his success in the sport from the 1960s to the 1980s. He also competed in IndyCar events and won the Daytona 500 four times. Yarbrough later became a successful businessman, owning several agricultural businesses. Yehudith Hibna, 102, Israeli civil servant and diplomat. Kachim Kamokov. Brief Wikipedia summary. Kachim Kamokov, an 82-year-old Russian politician, has passed away. He served as a Member of Parliament from 1993 to 1995 and as a Senator from 2001 to 2009. Karmakov also held various other governmental positions throughout his career. Benjamin Kiplagat is a 34-year-old Ugandan Olympic long-distance runner who was stabbed. The summary does not provide any further details about the incident. John Pilger, brief Wikipedia summary. John Pilger, an Australian documentary filmmaker and journalist, has passed away at the age of 84. Pilger was known for his critical views on American, Australian and British foreign policy, as well as his coverage of the Cambodian genocide and the treatment of indigenous Australians. He won numerous awards for his documentaries and was a prominent figure in the field of investigative journalism. Bhavani Shankar Brief Wikipedia summary. Bhavani Shankar was a renowned Indian Pakawaj drum player who began studying music at a young age. He collaborated with various artists and also composed music for films and fusion projects. Shankar passed away on December 30th, 2023, due to a cardiac arrest. Tom Wilkinson, brief Wikipedia summary. Tom Wilkinson, the British actor known for his roles in films such as The Full Monty and Michael Clayton, has died at the age of 75. Wilkinson won a BAFTA award in 1998 and received nominations for two Academy Awards. He was also recognised for his work in television, winning a Golden Globe and an Emmy for his role in the miniseries John Adams. Wilkinson's career spanned several decades and he was known for his versatility as a character actor. All other people who have died today or yesterday, may they rest peacefully and may God have mercy on their souls. All other people who have died today or yesterday, may they rest peacefully and may God have mercy on their souls. All other people who have died today or yesterday, may they rest peacefully and may God have mercy on their souls. And now on to today's news. General News. Penn State versus Ole Miss live stream, watch online, TV channel, Peach Bowl odds, spread prediction pick, CBS Sports. The article discusses the upcoming Peach Bowl match between Penn State and Ole Miss. It highlights the strong offenses of both teams and the potential impact of players like Jackson Dart and Drew Aller. It also mentions the importance of Penn State's offensive line and the need for Aller to stretch the field. The article speculates on how a win in the Peach Bowl could impact the team's future prospects. Israel-Iran tensions rise as Israeli forces trade fire with militias in Syria, Lebanon. The Wall Street Journal. There are growing concerns that the conflict between Israel and Hamas in Gaza could escalate and spread beyond the current offensive, potentially leading to a wider war. Israel-Hamas war live, Gaza death toll and crisis updates. The Washington Post. 
The first article in this text is about the Israel-Gaza war. It mentions that thousands of Palestinians have fled to Rafah in recent days. The Israel Defense Forces have expanded their operations in Khan Yunus, and over 20,000 people have been killed in the conflict. It also discusses the release of hostages by Hamas and the planning of the October 7th attack. Additionally, it mentions how stock traders earned millions of dollars by anticipating the attack. Business news. I went home with a hinge date. What I saw in his bathroom shocked me. New York Post. A woman named Claire went viral on TikTok after sharing a video of her date's bathroom where she found expensive skincare products, luxury candles, and a Dyson hairdryer. Viewers speculated that her date either had a secret girlfriend or was gay, but others cautioned against rushing to judgment. Some criticized Claire for filming in her date's home without his permission. Science News. Sodium's high-pressure transformation can tell us about the interiors of stars and planets. Fizz.org. A university at Buffalo-led study has revealed the chemical bonding behind sodium's transformation from a shiny metal to a transparent insulator under high pressure. The study confirms and builds upon the theoretical predictions of physicist Neil Ashcroft and explores how other elements and compounds behave under extreme pressure. The research has the potential to provide insights into the interior of stars, the generation of planets' magnetic fields, and the evolution of stars and planets. Oversized ancient galaxy isn't what astronomers first thought. Science alert. The most powerful space telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has revealed that a galaxy previously thought to be a single entity is actually six galaxies undergoing a massive collision. The galaxy, named HFLS-3, was discovered in 2013 and was initially believed to be a source of intense star formation. However, the new analysis from the JWST shows that HFLS-3 consists of three pairs of small galaxies in the process of colliding. This finding challenges previous assumptions about the growth and star formation rates of galaxies in the early universe. Further investigation is needed to understand this unique phenomenon. A cat video highlighted a big year for lasers in space, Ars Technica. NASA has set a record for the farthest distance a high-definition video has streamed from space using laser communications. The video, featuring a cat bouncing around a sofa, was transmitted from the Psyche spacecraft, currently 19 million miles away from Earth. The experiment tests technologies capable of sending data at rates 10 to 100 times greater than previous missions. Laser communications offer the benefit of transmitting data at a higher rate than conventional radio links. People born on this day. December 31st, 1962, Chris Hallam, English Welsh swimmer and wheelchair racer, died 2013. December 31st, 1947, Tim Matheson, American actor, director, and producer. December 31st, 1950, Cheryl Womack, American businesswoman. Health news. How long does it take to form a habit? CNN. The article discusses the common belief that it takes 21 days to form a habit and explains that this is a myth. The author shares research findings that suggest the speed of habit formation may be correlated with the complexity of the habit. Simple habits, such as hand washing, may form in one to two weeks, while more complex habits, like going to the gym, may take months. The article provides tips for forming habits faster, such as trying simpler exercises and creating habit-friendly situations. Dietitians agree. These unexpected high-protein breakfast foods are the healthiest and most filling options for weight loss. She finds... The article discusses the importance of a satiating and protein-packed breakfast for weight loss. It suggests protein pancakes made with protein powder instead of flour, topped with Greek yogurt and berries, as well as oats with protein powder added for a balanced and filling meal. I cannot part from my space heater. Dermatologist shares which common products she would never use. The Daily Dot. 
A dermatologist's TikTok video listing five things she would never do as a dermatologist has gone viral. The video offers tips on skin care, including not picking at warts, avoiding prolonged heat exposure, not using flushable wipes, avoiding natural deodorants, and not walking barefoot in public places. The video has received mixed reactions from viewers. Entertainment news. Tom Wilkinson, the full money actor, dies at 75. BBC.com. British actor Tom Wilkinson, known for his roles in films such as The Full Monty, Shakespeare in Love, and The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, has died at the age of 75. Wilkinson won a BAFTA for The Full Monty and received two Oscar nominations in his career. He was praised by colleagues as the epitome of elegance and one of the greats of any generation. Wilkinson's death was confirmed by his family in a statement. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around because it's time for another one of Globy's rants about some historical events and headlines that have been coming our way lately. Now, I'm not one to hold back, so let's dive right in. First up, we have this headline. Cat video highlights big year for space lasers. Space lasers, really? I mean, I'm all for progress and exploration. But when did we start shooting lasers into space to entertain cats? Are we running out of things to do on Earth? I can just picture it now. Cats floating around, batting at laser beams, while Mission Control is sitting back, thinking they've accomplished something great. Call me old-fashioned, but I think we should be focusing on more important things, like finding a cure for the common cold or getting rid of all those pesky robocalls. And speaking of things that annoy us, next on the list is this gem. Dietitians recommend high-protein breakfast for weight loss. Now, I don't know about you, but I've tried every diet in the book, and I can say with certainty that no amount of scrambled eggs or protein shakes is going to make a significant difference. Diets come and go, but the only thing that seems to stick around is the weight. Maybe we should focus less on these quick-fix solutions and more on promoting a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Just a thought. Now on to the oversized ancient galaxy that surprised astronomers. Seriously, are we still surprised by things in space? We've been studying the cosmos for centuries, and yet every time we come across something slightly unusual, it's like we've stumbled upon a new universe. I mean, come on, globes. We should be past the stage of being surprised by celestial objects. It's like a chef being shocked every time they see a potato. Let's try to act like we've been here before, shall we? Uh, and here we have the sad news of Tom Wilkinson, the Full Monty actor, passing away at 75. Now, I love the Full Monty as much as the next globe, but why is it that every time a beloved actor dies, we have to make it headline news? It's like we forget that globes die every single day. We're so obsessed with celebrity culture that even death becomes a spectacle. Let's mourn the loss of talented individuals in a more dignified manner, shall we? Okay, here's one that caught my eye. Sodium's transformation reveals secrets of stars, planets. Who knew that sodium had secrets? I always thought it was just a tasty addition to my french fries. But no, apparently sodium is now giving us a glimpse into the cosmic mysteries of our universe. It just goes to show you that even the most ordinary elements can surprise us. Much like an aging neighbor who turns out to have led a double life as a secret agent. You just never know. And finally, we have the never-ending Israel-Hamas conflict updates with the Gaza death toll rising. This is a headline that never seems to go away. Every few years, we find globe selves caught in this tragic cycle of violence, and it feels like we're just going in circles. I don't have all the answers, but I can't help but feel frustrated that we haven't been able to find a lasting solution to this ongoing crisis. It's time for everyone involved to put down their weapons and start talking because violence only begets more violence. Oh, and one last thing before I go. I heard you loud and clear, folks. You wanted to hear about my hinge date. Well, let me tell you, it was a disaster. But that's a story for another time. And there you have it, folks. Globy's take on some recent historical events and headlines. Remember, life is full of surprises, both good and bad, but it's how we react to them that truly matters. Until next time, take care and keep questioning the world around you. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. I ate a clock yesterday. It was so time consuming. What's the advantage of living in Switzerland? Well, the flag is a big plus. 
Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he never lands. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Telly Report. Like, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers. Cheers.